Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Pal Bam Zing. Okay, check this out. So I've had the Razer Naga Chroma for about a year and a half now, I believe, and so far I I really like it. I don't think it's too bad. However, there's one fatal flaw in this mouse that I've had so far, and that is the liftoff range is terrible and it's not even so much the lift off range as it is as it just is the reaction to when you do lift the mouse up off your mat whatever mat that may be and how it reacts so for example if i lift it off it travels about i don't know what maybe four inches across the screen every time i lift it off it doesn't matter how i lift it off i could lift it off to the left to the right i'm tipping the mouse upwards now it doesn't matter how i lift it off it always goes diagonal to the right sort of like to the southeast i suppose you would say if you were looking at this topographically um so there is a way to fix this it's a little bit of an annoying way to fix it but it's the only way that i know so far so you want to go to your um razor synapse software uh first of all you want to download it and then you want to open your razor synapse software um, this is what it looks like you want to go to calibration and enable surface calibration um, if you have a razor mat i don't have a razor mat i have a logitech mat honestly i'm not really sure how much this affects the end outcome but i have a logitech mat so i clicked on others you want to click on the mouse pad and you have to do this every time regardless of whether you set this up or not click recalibrate follow the instructions and that is to hold the left or i'm sorry click the left mouse button and move your mouse around a little bit just like this and it'll tell you caution you honestly don't even have to do it this much i'm just showing you an example but it'll say caution you have to move it slower blah 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 hit the left mouse button again and it'll say calibration completed congratulations you've done this for the 50,000th time it doesn't actually say that i had that in there so you hit save Put your lift off, and as you can see, it resets your lift off range. Drag your lift off range down to one again, and then ta da! Look at that. Now you still have a little bit of a, like a tiny, but it's more like centimeters now, more than actually. I'm lifting it off, lift, lift, drag it around, lift, drag it around here, lift. So when you're playing games, especially first person shooters and such like that, every time you lift off your mouse, your aim goes crazy. It goes wild. Um, in my case, down about four inches, but depending on the sensitivity you have your game at, it can just make it ridiculously hard and aggravating to play these games. And you can exit out of here and there, there you go. We're good to go. As you can see, there's still a little bit of, of a tiny bit of a, but I, it's not a crazy expensive mouse. I think I got this like forty dollars on sale. I think it's actually more. I, I don't. I don't honestly think they make my model anymore. And, but as you can see, it substantially helps the um, issue at hand here. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I looked around a long time for this. Looked around for forms in this. There were there are a couple more videos on YouTube about this issue. I believe that do a, a good job at establishing how it works and what you have to do to go about it. Um, I found that sometimes it works waking up out of sleep when your computer comes out of sleep. Sometimes it works when your computer wakes up uh, from power mode. Um, but most of the time you have to reset this every time your computer goes to sleep. Eventually I want a new mouse. Eventually I'm going to get a new mouse. It's not going to be a razor mouse. I've heard of other issues with other razor mice that use the laser sensor instead of the optical sensor. And I'm fairly certain this uses the laser sensor. Um, so, but in the meantime, this has been a good workaround and has made playing games, especially first person shooters, tolerable until I can get a new mouse. It's actually a shame because I like the MMO mouse. I like the, uh, I like the buttons on the side and in general, I'm pretty happy with the feel of it. It's just this, uh, terrible issue of the lift off every time you have to lift up your mouse and it goes bonkers. So thanks for watching guys. I appreciate, uh, appreciate you watching as well. And I hope this was able to help you out a little bit and uh, help you determine whether or not it's worth it to keep your buggy razor mouse. So I'll catch you next time, and uh, thanks for watching.